Let's talk about CP3s. These are Exergy pumps, and this is a 14 mil, this is a 12 mil. They also have a 10 millimeter stroker pump, a sportsman pump. So there's four CP3s in their lineup. Uh, these are two that I just have out here for comparison. The main reason being is that the 12 mil pump, as you can see, is still all factory frame. They start them new from a new 6.7 liter Cummins CP3. The 14 mil pump has a billet rear housing, and this actually has a patented gear-driven pump inside of it that takes your lift pump pressure and multiplies it, and it feeds higher pressure fuel for high RPM fueling. And this is really the Mac Daddy of all pumps. So this is the pump that I run on the quad cab. We are, I run a single pump. I've made over 1,500 horsepower on the quad cab. I've run it on that truck, the same pump, for four years now. And I drive it to all the races. Race, Cody has a single one of these on his truck. Uh, full weight truck that he ran a 578 I believe and a 870 in the quarter mile so this pump has proven to make over 2,000 horsepower few uh, on a, as a single pump I don't think you're going to find another pump that has done more work than this single extra 14 mil race pump has but moving on down the line you have the 12 mil pump and these are generally good for a 900 to up to 1100 horsepower window the this does not have the gear driven pump in the back. So over 4,000 RPM, you start seeing a little bit of a nose over in the flow rate. Uh, so when the guys are making 1,100 or more and they wanna run up to 5,000 RPM, we always push them into a 14 mil race pump. Uh, but this pump is good for lower RPM setups, You know, up to 4,000 RPM. You can even make 1,200, 1,250 horsepower with this pump at lower RPMs if your injector and turbo setup is comparable to it. Going to the 10 mil pump, it's just like this one. It just has a different cam in it. This cam goes all the way back through and runs all three of these plungers. And this is how how far your stroke is. That's why it's called a, this has a 14 millimeter stroke. This has a 12 millimeter stroke. The 10 mils have a 10 millimeter stroke. The 10 mil pumps generally up to 800 horsepower will support your, you know, if you have a 100% over injector and a 10 mil pump, you can easily make 800 horsepower with that amount of fuel quantity. Then you go down to your sportsman pump. The sportsman pump is a stock displacement pump, but it has some internal modifications that above 3000 RPM, you do see a significant increase of flow over the stock pump at higher RPMs. But at 2500 RPM, the sportsman pump and a stock pump are very similar. So don't expect large changes in flow rating at low RPMs with a sportsman pump over a stock pump. But those are your four basic pumps from Exergy and kind of a good idea of where you need to be at for your horsepower level. And when I talk about horsepower, it's a lot more than just your you know, fuel quantity versus horsepower is such a wide range because if you take this pump and max it out, you have, this is a 14 mil pump and you max it out at 370 milligrams of fuel, it can hold that all the way to 5,000 RPM or at least to 4,500. Um, without uh, reg modifying the regulator. But the that 370 milligrams of fuel, if we add a lot of air, either boost or nitrous, we can make 2,000 horsepower with 370 milligrams of fuel. But if you take that same 370 milligrams of fuel and put it to a uh, 66 millimeter S300, you will probably only make 750 horsepower. So the horsepower rating of a CP3 is really hard to put a number on, so to speak, because you're, you're advertising a, a total fuel quantity, liters per minute of fuel that it's able to flow by how many RPMs that it spins, and what the end user does with that fuel quantity will depend on the horsepower that it actually makes. So I hope this helps you choose your CP3 for your application. If you guys have any questions, please call us here at Firepunk. We'd be glad to help. 614-733-3744.